I 35 am cheated on my husband 36 am and had an affair. I feel guilty but am scared to tell him because of his bipolar and he has been previously violent. What should I do? Story 1. I will try and keep it brief but there has been a lot over so much time. Even the condensed version does not come close to how it really has been. I will put a TL. Doctor, but I would appreciate it if before making your judgment or giving me advice that you would read the entire post. My husband and I have been together for eight years and married for five of those years. We also have a son, who's four. The past two years have been incredibly difficult. If I had to pinpoint a significant moment that caused our relationship to go on a downward spiral was his father getting ill roughly two to three years ago and then his passing a few months after. Around that time his sister who has repeated substance abuse problems and is in out of jobs wrecking havoc on our relationship that's when his behaviors became more erratic. Then an argument close to two years ago where he became physically aggressive towards me. The fight was related to my sister-in-law, he got physically aggressive and then disappeared for a whole month. It took him an entire week to contact me. An entire month he was gone for. I was completely on my own with a toddler while working and stressing over him. I was struggling a lot. He hardly reached out to us. During that period I had to get back on antidepressants which I hadn't been on since my early 20s. The affair started around that time period as well. I confided in a work colleague of mine and was venting to him a lot because he also knew about the problems my husband and I were having prior to our fight. He became an emotional outlet and a tremendous help to me. He was helping me out running errands, picking up my work slack, helping with my son and most importantly he was emotionally there when I had no one. The affair was an s time ool because back then I regarded his help as strictly platonic and I was desperate and needed all the help I could get. A month passed and after that incident I pleaded with him to go to couples counseling or to seek therapy or a grief counselor. He refused. This is a comment I posted in 2019 and it describes what the situation was like. I'm doing my best. I don't blame him but emotionally he is not letting me in so I'm helping him in whatever way I can. I'm solely looking after our son, working a 9 to 5, doing everything else in the house while he's on annual leave worrying more about his sister than himself and us. I'm upset to see him this gutted over his father's dad but to be frank, his dad hasn't been the most supportive of us due to his overt homophobia. It's hard grieving over a man who did less than the bare minimum to show love and tolerance for his own son and until June this year did not dare to acknowledge that he has a grandson. He didn't agree to the counseling or the therapy and things were not good because the pandemic happened. There was tension, we were always arguing. We weren't having s time, we weren't being intimate. He was being awful to me and distant and unavailable. He had even picked up smoking again something he had stopped years ago. I did what I could, trying to get us to start couples counseling but he either refuses or makes his schedule unavailable for it. It begged to at least see someone else then for help because he was unavailable to me. Around that time the affair with my work colleague started, the s time ool side of it because prior we'd stay in contact but I viewed it was strictly platonic but in hindsight that can be viewed as emotional cheating. It'd meet up with him after work hours, before and weekends when my husband was away. I continued trying to get my husband to at least go and visit a professional which he finally did and they attributed it to grief. He got on antidepressants and seemed like his happy normal self again. It didn't last long and we reached another breaking point. He was so much worse than before. We reached a final breaking point when he started snapping at our toddler. During that period head shout at me over little things but never at our son. I told him that he needs to get it together because his behavior wasn't acceptable. I was close to either moving back in with my mum with our son or telling him to leave. He finally started therapy. Last month he got diagnosed with bipolar disorder and got prescribed medication. He snaps at me when I remind him to take it but we started couples counseling and only now do I feel like it's going somewhere, with the affair as soon as I ended it. I switched departments at work. I don't text him or interact with him much. I have completely distanced myself from that relationship. I got tested. Regardless of that my husband and I haven't had s time in months. I have heard that if I were to tell him it's better to tell him during our counseling sessions which is the safest option. Given everything that I have tried to condense above, 
his erratic mood and behavior, self-destructive and destructive tendencies am unsure if telling him is the best choice. I regret it a lot and I understand if whoever is reading is might think that I shouldn't thought about all of the above before my affair. I'm not looking for sympathy or for people to tell me I did the right thing because I know it wasn't right. I was feeling lost and in a desperate situation I didn't see out of. I'm wondering how safe it is to tell him and what he might do given how has been. TL, doctor, husband has been in downward spiral behavior and mood wise in the past two to three years, coinciding with his father's illness and passing. He entered a period of many impulsive and erratic behaviors. He became physically violent and disappeared for a month. In that month I developed an emotional affair with a work colleague that turned s time wool over the following months. After many pleadings husband got into therapy and got diagnosed with bipolar. I'm questioning the sensibility of confessing the affair to him given his emotional state. Story 2. I cheated on my husband because his anger issues are out of control and I was getting super depressed. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible while giving you background. We have been married for over two years, together for almost four years. We have six-month-old girl and a 20-month-old girl. My husband 25 has anger issues. He yells and curses at me I am 22 all the time. He also yells at our 19-month-old. He throws things. He drives erratically when Hess mad. We are talking pushing the speed limiter on his car 120 miles per hour or faster on my car 140 he has done it with me and our kids in the car too. Now all of these things hurt me, but these are the things that really pushed me away. He talks down to my daughter and yells at her and makes her cry. Over the smallest things like spilling her goldfish he also will curse and me and yell at me and I have to ask him say things like you realize that you are teaching our daughter that it's okay for a man to speak to women like that? or apologize to her. Or just cause she is a little girl doesn't mean she doesn't deserve respect. Or stop being mean to her, she doesn't understand. Mind you, he rarely ever spends time with our babies because he chooses to stay at work with his friends till late at night so he old sees them on his days off which is every Sunday and every other Saturday. I work from home, cook, clean, take care of the girls. In my opinion I have way more on my plate and am not going around treating my family like crap because I refuses to get my anger issues back under control. Now, before you ask, yes he has always had anger issues. But the thing is he used to exercise and read the Bible and pray and go to church but he has stopped. I'm not a controlling person so I suggest and ask if he wants to do those things and I remind him that it helps him de-stress and helps his anger but he refuses and I'm not going to keep pressing or force him. I've also suggested we go to counseling, I have invited him to my own therapy sessions because I have PTSD from severe sexual physical mental child abuse and foster care which is triggered every time he loses his SH with me and he refuses. I've started to go out after I put the kids to sleep like with my girlfriends and my sister yes my kids sleep through the night so no he isn't left watching them and I've started to go to church on my own since he won't go and I really have been working on myself in the midst of these issues but I slipped up. I cheated. Then it happened again same guy and it just has continued now for a month. He makes me genuinely happy when I've been so damn depressed. He looks at me like I'm beautiful and just the prettiest thing he ever saw. He listens to me and is there for me and helped me after I had surgery at the end of July to repair my broken arm way more than my actual husband and yes he knows about the situation. We stopped seeing each other for a week at his request which made me super BTT hurt but then couldn't help it and picked back up I honestly don't know what to do. I know what I should do, divorce him. But I'm so ducking scared to be a 22 year old single mom. Everything I envisioned has fallen apart. I'm still in love with my husband but not this version of him who refuses to drop his pride and get help, not this version who yells at me and curses at me daily, not this version who is teaching our daughters that it's okay for your husband daddy to disrespect you. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, you should end your affair and stop sugarcoating it as some romantic thing, then divorce your abusive husband, then you can do what you like. Cheating is not the correct path to take and what do you think your rageaholic husband will do when he finds out? Your current boyfriend AP is not a good person, he is looking for free s time and getting it at the expense of a family. Redditor 4, 
So you're saying that you feel comfortable ducking over someone who's extremely volatile and allegedly just completely unhinged doing something that would lead normal people to explode and you're doing the absolute most dangerous thing for yourself and your children and you're completely okay putting yourself in that level of alleged harm's way? 